Welcome back to your daily dose everybody today. We're having a night adventure here on icon of the seas, but we think it's gonna be a wild one We we it's just kind of gotta feel a wild not in us But like we want to talk about some things that we see on this ship. That is just Mind-blowing. Yeah. Oh, there is a fun event that they have tonight. We have to go check it out. What is it? It's the wet party. The wet Oh, party. this is a whole new idea. Yeah. This has never so been this done on a cruise be ship cool. before, like a royal ship before. <gasps> yeah, this one's going to be fun. I actually forgot about that. And it's Caribbean night. So we still have a little bit of time okay. before we get ready for dinner, but Caribbean night. Come along with it's us. The wet feet party. If you guys are new. Hit that subscribe button. We're almost to 200,000. Yay! Let's see what tonight brings. I do see something. JoJo's out there. Let's creepily look at them real quick. <laughs> so I just sent him a text message of them. <laughs> Let's see if they we can get their attention. It's kind of creepy. Did that go through? There we go. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. <laughs> I'm super hungry, KP. Like, come on, we gotta go. KP? KP, come on. I'm just so hungry. KP. Where are we gonna go? Where um, where do you where do you wanna go? Well, it's honestly it's kinda late. It's almost four o'clock. So I think that the options are really just like the smaller places. But we haven't tried the Mexican food yet. So I think I wanna try Oh, you wanna that. go there? Or we can do the kids area. They have like a window with light bites but i'm kind of leaning more towards Mexico. yeah let's do or that no, let's el do loco fre fresh or whatever we'll go yeah. see what it is yeah yeah, yeah. it's maybe really good yeah let's do it they have like little churro yeah. bites that we can get from the kids area though maybe we can do that for dessert i'm down oh it's <laughs> dark surprise <laughs> now if you missed yesterday's video we actually did take the elevator up we made an amendment to the rule just to show you how the new elevator system works so we're back to the stairs I don't know why I'm just thinking of it now, but maybe the next cruise we should, and it's gotta be like a like another big cruise. I wanna keep a Fitbit on or like a Fitbit, a watch to see how many stairs we go up, see how many steps we take. That'd be nice to know. I'll do that in the future. But we made it to deck 15. What a crazy view this is. Well, it says this is the salsa station. It's fruit and a Mexican salad. They've got chips to go here. And then we're gonna about to see the taco stations as well. We got the rice, we've got the tortillas, the cheese sauce, the beans. Not really a bean lover, more about the cheese. Oh my gosh, beef, pork, chicken. Now, to be honest, I've actually walked past a couple times and I haven't filmed it, but I've gotten a chicken quesadilla and a cheese quesadilla. They have chicken and beef burritos to go as well. These are always just ready. You can come by and just grab it. It's amazing. And then all the toppings, sour queen, cream, guac, everything you want. Loki, do not judge me on how this looks. Wisconsinites will understand. Just put a lot of stuff and then threw cheese on top. We got lucky and got the fresh chicken when they just brought it out. It's so good. I'm, that's what I told you. This is completely free. This is a grab and go counter service. And you can just grab as much as you want, when you want, when it's open. Look at the appetizer before dinner. Appetizer? I got a whole meal. <laughs> I got a burrito, rice, beans, chips. My goodness. Really good to see, to say the least. I could go for seconds, so we're having dinner here. And I gotta save some room for dinner. My vibe is hoping for the best. I just said, when you slam a burrito at four and have dinner reservations at 6.45, it's freezing life. We are having a full-blown meal before our actual dinner because we actually wanna go check out the ice cream place, which is like right around the corner. So we're just having our entree appetizer. And now we're gonna have a dessert appetizer. The sprinkles, I believe is what they call it. It's in the middle between the lime and the coconut. And the lime and coconut is actually on three decks. It's the most popular bars, uh, even though it's technically one bar. And you know what I kind of discovered? Well, I didn't discover this. I want to walk over here because it's so interesting. It's an interesting take and I want to get your guys' opinion as well. So I've told Case this already. 
But when we walk in this section, especially underneath this, it kind of feels like you're walking underneath a freeway. Anybody else? Like, it's so high. It, it is incredible. Like, especially with those arches. It's like you're walking under a freeway, right? Yeah, it really actually does. It's like a whole city on a ship. Quite literally. There's probably cars up there. We just haven't discovered it yet. <laughs> Maybe. Closer look at the lime and coconut. On a sold out cruise, they're gonna be pretty packed, but it's really nice. Especially at the drink package. You can pretty much get a drink as soon as you want. But let's see how good this ice cream is. Casey makes me melt. <laughs> Probably chocolate and vanilla, right? Kind of like uh, strawberry would be nice. And they do it for you too. There's someone here all the time. I'm thinking vanilla. This is really hot and I feel like chocolate. I don't know. I'm a vanilla and what as well. They only have vanilla, chocolate, and a swirl. I told her a small one. Wait, you told her a small one? Yeah, I told her small so one. Not only did you eat less at lunch, <laughs> but you're eating less ice cream. I'm not gonna be hungry for you. <laughs> it's all a tactic. I think, I think I'm making a mistake, but actually no, I'm not making a mistake. Tastes like Dairy Queen's ice cream. It's so freaking good. Really good. Yeah. Like this is comparable to like Disney Cruise Line ice cream. Mm-hmm. Good ice cream. They don't mess around. Good ice cream. It's not cheap. Now we've made it. Well, we're just right outside the ice cream area, but I kind of want to explain. The ship, I have yet to post a ship tour, and I wouldn't say I'm like kind of disappointed in it, but I'm just like, I want to explore over here at the front of the ship. However, the decks, I think 17 through 19, at least at the front, it's all geared towards suites. And it's kind of like you just get to a point and there's a dead end and you want to keep going, but you can't. So the only place you can really experience the front of the ship is through the Aqua Dome. And then I feel like on the Wonder, there really wasn't like a cutoff, but it kind of feels, I mean, it's a massive ship, don't get me wrong, but it's like, I just want to go there, but you can't. It's only for suites. And that's one thing I don't really enjoy about the Icon. I just wish it was kind of like free roaming. Usually the suites are kind of like in the middle where you can't really go anyways, and they have like a, their own private deck in a way. But they kind of got the whole top front of the ship. Heard it's not that big, but you know, it's still it's like, dang, you know, I wish we could kind of go to the front and experience that, but. It's only for sweets. So that's one thing I kind of found like, ah, wish it wasn't like that, but it is. I do agree with that. I feel like the ship is advertised a lot as having like, what, 20 decks? And really, in, re like, in reality, it's not quite like that, but this ship really is still massive. But like, I personally don't feel like I need to go explore more because there's so much that we can't explore, but I can see what, why you're saying uh -huh. that. I believe that's sweets. Yeah. It's kind of like when you look over there, it's like I'm just curious what's over there. Um, but I don't really feel that much of a pull. Yeah. I don't know if anyone's ever talked about that yet, but it's kind of like, dang, I want to go there for camp. We haven't been on deck 18 yet, which we're heading up there right now. This is the sweets, 18 oh. and 19. We call it the sweet neighborhood. Actually. Yeah. Let's see what this looks like. I think you need to scan in or something. So this is just the suite floor. The Grove Suite Sun Deck. Again, you have to go in there with like a band and it's all for suites. So it's just something like, you know, we're not able to explore, which looks really nice. But if you're suites, super cool. Just wish, you know, we'd be able to go in there. It looks nice. And actually, they're gonna let us come on in. She's like, do you want to see? We're like, yeah. And she said, sure. So here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, Casey just said they have marinated all of So here's a little place out here, the deck. They're actually gonna have a pool over here, their own pool. But we're gonna go over here real quick and kind of explore because this is like the, the private sun deck over here. They have a jacuzzi, lots of seating on this side. Again, shout out to them. Like, uh, that was, that was did not expect yeah. that at all. Oh, wait, there's like stairs over here too. Oh, this is the deck that we were missing out on that we kept seeing. We're like, I want to go there. Okay, it's not like we're missing out on much. It's just a very quiet area, which is so nice. These are very nice. These day beds. I'm going to keep this rolling because, you know, we don't get an opportunity to do this. 
Oh my gosh, it is so quiet. How peaceful is this case? This is... This is nice. Okie dokie. Oh my gosh. So we were like going on cloud 17 over here and we go, oh, what's up there? And that's when we realized it was just for sweets. This I heard is supposed to be only an adult only pool, but it looks like it's not. Um, at least they were advertising that. I think they kind of went away with that. But what do you guys think of the suites? I will say, super quiet. This is cruising how I like to do it right now. Yes, but <laughs> I'll be honest, like I wouldn't want to book a suite necessarily just for this. Uh -huh. Like I'd want the suite for the suite. I feel like there's so many other areas and a lot of quiet areas too, especially in Chill Island. Yes. Chill Island, True. there's like a ton of seats away from people. So I don't feel like we need this, but this is still really nice and a nice park. I do want to go around this corner because it does wrap around too. We haven't even got to experience Swim and Tonic, which is actually the first swim up bar for Royal Caribbean. This is a nice actually aerial look at that. And down below we can see our room <laughs> right there. Super, super thankful to be up here that they even allow this. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to ask. We didn't even ask. She actually just said, do you want to go in? We said, sure. And here's the other side as well. This just looks like what you can do on the Oasis classes, but now it's just for those who have suites. Stunning. These views are incredible. Yeah. I really like Crazy. I the glass railings that they've selected too, because they don't obstruct a lot. No. I really like them. This is gorgeous. And then here's their pool on more seating on this side. We haven't gone by the pool yet. But it's a pretty big space. Uh, someone said it wasn't that big, but to me, this is a decent size for sure. No, well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Let's go check out the buffet because they have their own private buffet, buffet here. I'm gonna go by the pool here real quick. Nice, decent size. Well, it's kind of tiny. And we're back at the main hub. I think she even said we could eat if we wanted. We're like, no, it's okay. We we just ate. You said they have olives, Case? They did during, uh, I think it was their lunch, now they're switching over to dinner. Ah, and she said it's gonna like change over in like 10 minutes. She's like, you can stay in if you want. Yeah, that's okay. Definitely a heightened level of food here too. That's a sweet neighborhood. Thankful for that. What's up? Oh. There's Not Case. But they also have marinated Chef's kiss. Well, hey, now that we got to see it, I guess you guys can be like, is it worth it that we don't have public decks for that? Now I kind of feel like it's not that big of an issue because yeah. I think it's kind of nice. I mean, for them, for sweets. Mm -hmm. And I don't really feel like I missed out on too much. It was just like the fact of, I don't know what's up there and I feel like I'm missing yeah. out, you know? Yeah. It is a really nice perk to have because obviously they're paying a lot more money to have the suite. So there should be some other sort of incentive, I think. And the ship is big enough to offer something like that. Yeah, true. It's really not like they're taking, you know, valuable space away from us or from everybody else, you know? I think, um, yeah. too, as well, the pricing. I think mm -hmm. it was on a minimum 12 to 14 on this cruise yeah. just for a suite. Just for a normal suite room just like us. Yeah. They do have a bathtub that's nice and sweet. Oh, that is nice. That is really but nice. But you get that on the Disney cruises too. Yeah, I was just thinking <laughs> yeah. that. It would be nice. I mean, I love taking baths, but I, I don't think I would really want to take a bath on a cruise necessarily. I don't know. If you yeah. have it, you might. Well, yeah, but I just feel like that's how I like you to relax baths. at home. I'm relaxed all the time on a cruise, so I don't need a bath. So what do you guys think of the suites? Let us know. Oh, here, let's take a look at the hall room. Now, here's a look at the, the suites. Hall room, it sort of kind of looks the same it might be a little wider can't really tell it's a suite if i'm being honest here it looks the same they're definitely going to be bigger though i can tell <laughs> there'd be like five doors here <laughs> but he is <laughs> what's that it's like a ballerina. <laughs> oh that's right we did that joke <laughs> off camera i was like look case <laughs> We're doing a little mini ship tour for you. We're gonna go check out the spa now because we haven't seen it yet. I believe it's on deck 14. 
I don't know why I'm wearing my sunglasses, but this is us exploring more that we haven't seen. It's day four and we still haven't seen everything and done everything. A back to back on this might be nice. Not for your bank account though. <laughs> Maybe not for your bank account, but definitely for your wellness because I want to be on here back to back to back to back to back to back to back. If you want to see back to back, uh, our friends Travel Spree, they're actually doing back to back yeah. on this. So check them out. I think that um, I would do the world cruise on this ship. Because I could be on here for nine months. Pro no problem. Let's see what we can all see inside of Vitality, Vitality at Sea Spa. Oh my goodness. It's the smoothies. Yes, grab something. Now, you guys can do this too. Um, they literally just said you can wander on it if you'd like. So very nice because I think there's some showers in here that we can experience. Mm -hmm. Totally um, off topic to well, the Oh, I know. What you, I know. I have a feeling you're what you're going to say. I know exactly what she's going to say. She's like, wait, these are some nice chairs. We should get it for the house. Am I right? Yeah, do you like these bar stools? Because I have been eyeing these for a long time for the house. And he always tells me he doesn't like these, but I look how beautiful they are. They look nice, yeah, but do they feel nice? Seat, and you can feel, I think the thing is, worried about, about yeah. the height of the back. Here. The thing is, this is probably like a thousand dollar chair. No. I think tomorrow I'm gonna try a smoothie no, for breakfast. Yeah. Just do something a little bit different. I've never tried one. They're eight dollars, unless you have the beverage package. It's free, but yeah. worth it. I gotta try it. All right, I think we go back left here. It's huge. This spa is ginormous. Now they're actually gonna let us film, but I think I'm gonna save that for the actual tour. Um, you can get a day pass or a week pass in the thermal suites. 180 for the week and then 59 for the day. I just find it so funny that they'll let us do that, but they won't let us film the water park. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, they didn't let us go obviously into like- the, Oh, they let, they were, like, they let us go into the thermal room. Yeah. You just couldn't record in there. No, the they, they were gonna let me record, but there was people in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. They're super nice. I love it. I know. Everyone sees the camera and is like, oh, are you, are you vlogging? Here, <laughs> come, come explore. <laughs> huge. What a huge gym. It's pretty much just like the Wonders, and then well, you don't have to walk down steps. You can actually just walk on out to the track, too. That's nice. They have a lot of different... I believe on the Wonder, you actually had to go down a couple steps, which is kind of nice that you can just roam on out to the track now. Just like the little details, you know? And Rover pees here somewhere, the dog. <laughs> so we're both kind of discussing our later plans and maybe the Mexican wasn't a good choice. We might not be going to dining tonight. I don't know. We don't know yet. We'll find something to eat. I do. Yeah, sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Um, okay. I do feel like we're not really missing too much if we don't go to the dining room because it's like they're pretty much the same food you can get on any cruise. It's Caribbean night and while the food is amazing, I think we kind of, I really screwed myself over. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. You guys will see soon, but I don't know. I think we're gonna meet up with Jojo and Krista again sometime coming up here. Yeah, maybe we can get dinner with them elsewhere. Yeah, because I know they like just ate around the later. same, same yeah. time we did, so we'll see. We'll see. Dome. I think we're gonna sit here and watch the sunset. Jojo should be coming here soon. We've been here just vibing, talking it out, hashing it out, loving our lives. <laughs> Wait a second, we just found a duck. There's a pink ducky up here. I'm gonna go grab it. Right here. This is the place that Jojo has joined us right now. You can't really tell from behind us, but we're just sitting here watching the sunset. It's beautiful. Throw on some B-roll right now, Kyle. It's like I did beforehand. Uh, At least the editor Kyle thinks he did, but yeah, it's beautiful. We are leaving St. Kitts right now. Can you hear the horn? 
Um, but we are gonna, I'm gonna try this one, the Overlook Spritz. This is the, the go-to drink here, or just the special drink. Perfect. It looks so pretty. Oh, God's doing something very special. We are cheersing the same cheers. Usually Kyle and I do the cheers twice. A little behind the scenes for y'all. Vlog. Vlogception. Oh, Alright, right. cheers to an epic. An epic voyage there you go. on Icon of the Seas. Shout out Royal Caribbean. We love you, Royal. We really do. More so of like a, a sweeter drink, kind of tastes like a flower and soap. Not really a chugger. Hey, you could though. We should give this to Krista and Casey and say we got it for them as a gift. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Alright ladies, yeah, do you like it? Yeah, we got it for you, we thought of you. I feel like it is really good. It is good, but I feel like something suspicious is happening. No, no, no. it's just for you. Aww, I love how she's you. like suspicious and I'm like... <laughs> We just left, but we're gonna head to JoJo's room because they're doing something special that we want to try to catch, but we gotta hurry. I don't know if we missed it or not. I think we actually missed it. We were having too much fun in the Aqua Dome. We didn't even realize we left. Ah. We got a beer. That Rona and an IPA. Thank you. You okay? Thanks. I think it's taller than you. <laughs> We're back here in the Aqua Dome. But the show is going on. They shut the lights off here in the back. We literally live here. Oh, we found another duck. They didn't even see it. Let's go. Look at the. This is cool. Yeah, I like when people do that. I'm keeping this one. Actually, no, I don't know. But we got another duck. Here you go. We're over by the Playmakers bar area and they have a bunch of merch over here. Honestly, I feel like they've channeled Lululemon because they have a jacket that kind of looks like this scuba jacket. They've got fanny packs over here. Um, I'm actually really impressed, impressed with the merch because I do feel like they needed to kind of elevate theirs. Yeah, it's it's reasonably priced too. Seventy six, eighty four dollars. It's not like super expensive. I'm gonna break the bank. We're headed to Surfside. Haven't really uh dined here quite yet. I think I'm gonna have a oh the silent disco's going right now. That's so cool. I think we're gonna be dining here another night on camera. This is the whole new section. But they got a silent disco going for the kiddos. What you got? There we go. On second thought, we're actually gonna try an upgrade, I think, which is Pier 7. This isn't included, you have to pay for this food, so let's see if they have room. It's here in the, the new surf side, which we really haven't touched on the vlogs at all. But it will be coming on up, so if you guys are new in here, hit the subscribe button, so you can see everything. Now here's a quick look at the menu. It looks like they don't have breakfast all day, because um, last time I was here, I think we saw that it was breakfast. We'll see what I get. I'm hungry. It's not free though. Here's a quick little pan of the area. It's pretty small and intimate. And again, it's not really gonna break the bank. So we'll see how it is. Wow, Casey got some lettuce wraps here and this is beautiful. She's gonna have to tell us how it is. And if you wanna see it, Kristen and JoJo's, just hop on over to JoJo's video. Here's the Korean chicken. This looks really good. Like, honestly, compared to like, well, we just went to Azumi, which was very expensive compared to this. We'll see how it is compared to that. There's a lot of sauce on it. Um, again, the price is nice. It's, you know, good quality. I'm here for it. Gaze, do you like yours? I love it. It's really fresh and it also came out really quickly too. So it's, even though it's sit down, it's still like quick service. I'm really impressed. Wanted to show you guys the banana split here. Seven dollars for this bad boy. Um, the dinner was good. Not much of an upcharge like uh, Azumi. We'll see how this goes. And then Casey got the waffles as well. I don't remember the last time I had a banana split. Oh yeah. Definitely better ice cream than the sprinkles place that we had. I, I kind of wish that we had three scoops of the strawberry ice cream. Yeah, it's strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. The strawberries with I don't even want to try the chocolate. 
This is by far the best dessert I've had on the ship. It is so good. There's so much caramel. And I also love the fresh fruit. Really good. I'm actually kidding because Krista just reminded me about the crepes. And this is my second favorite dessert on the ship. <laughs> We got some more! Let's go! These are also so cute. Here's the new gift. I love that we're starting to get all the pink stuff. Look at that. <gasps> what animal we got here? Is this uh, an elephant? I can't uh, tell. I can't really tell, but it's super cute. Wait, it might be a dog. I think it's, I think it's Rover. <gasps> Rover. <laughs> Look at his butt. <laughs> well, we're checking um the wet party, and I believe this is the first of its kind on a royal ship. It's actually on the largest pool on a on a cruise ship. Lots of world records being broke on on this ship. I don't know, comment down below if you guys have ever seen this. I could have sworn this hasn't been on a ship before. Um, at least this wet pool party. I think we're here a little bit early or no one really kind of showed up to the wet feet party. I'm sure maybe on like a future cruise it might be a lot better. Cause this inaugural cruise sailing, there's really not that many people. Wow, I, I was expecting greatness, but to be honest, it's kind of a sad party. It's not Virgin Voyages crowds. This is why. not Virgin Voyages crowds. Darn it. Sort of kind of disappointed. Unfortunately, I think it's just like the vibe of the ship. I mean, they've got. <laughs> yeah, you drink. We gotta get Jimmy before we get in. But, um, <laughs> they're trying their best to get you to come on in. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It's, it's not the vibe of your party that you're used to, you know? Yeah, man. I'm used to the Virgin Voyages pool parties. This ain't it. But it's okay. It's cool. I like that they're offering something. Let's give it some time. I mean, it's, there is an hour. However, I just feel like it's like the, like the overall vibe of the inaugural cruise. This one isn't really as crazy as the wonder really was. At least the crowd that's on board. It doesn't look like it's closed off for all ages as well. Kids can be in there too. So that's kind of a cool thing. Drinks can be in there as well. So that's cool. That's cool. I feel like they're not usually allowed in, uh, in the pools. I'm sure it's it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a hit as the cruises go on. But make sure you guys know about this. It's it's family friendly, and it looks like you can't have drinks in there. I could be wrong, but they're selling them. I don't know. My thongs are hurting, guys. Never really wear thongs. <laughs> Hurting my toesies. My favorite people are about to jump around. You ready? You ready? You ready to jump around? Yes, yes, Let's do it. Let's do it. To all those who are uh, Call of Duty fans, we've got Nadia on stage. We got a big Call of Duty streamer here. She's better than me at Call of Duty. She's pretty good. They're about to sing. We're in the casino right now. What? You two. What is Jojo about to do? He's gonna gamble. The big bucks. The, the big right bucks. machine. We finally got the machine in a good play, so we're good to go. It's on fire right now, so I think it's that he's gonna on fire. If you guys see this on this ship, it has been paying out big. Play it. There he is, Jojo. Let's get it. I heard. I heard. I'm coming. All right. If you guys want, check out Jojo's video of him gambling. I'm going in. It's gonna be fun or horrible. Well, there's only one thing left to do that I've been doing pretty much every night. I'm gonna get my nightly pizza. It's gonna be like piece number seven for the trip. Almost a full pizza. One pizza, and if you come in the corner over here, they have ranch. Let's go. Alright folks, we're back in the room. Hope you enjoyed this one. I still have the duck. I think I'm gonna hide them tomorrow. No, oh, I'm gonna oh. hide them tomorrow. I'm gonna hide yeah, them tomorrow. The other ones, what a fun night. We're doing a lot off camera. Like I'm cruising so different from what I, I, I'm used to, like just enjoying a lot off camera. 
Um, almost to 200,000 subscribers. Subscribe if you're new. That was it for your daily dose. Have a great night or a great morning. Whenever you're watching this, I hope you have a great day. Bye bye. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. That's it. Here I'm. Uh...